Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I've made the Spell Tiger someone else's problem. Specifically, this patio restaurant. <laughs> uh, we're actually parked here because just across the street you will find the ATM where I need to deposit the, uh, was it 150 large? In order to, uh, get the honor of even trying to go on this mission. But, uh, first, I wanted to, uh, give a shout out to Roshan, who left a comment saying, Hey now, I don't think Santa Destroy is the most depressing town in the world. And here's a weird coincidence. I'm pretty sure Silent Hill holds that title Tooth and Claw. Literally. <laughs> so let's get away from this woman before she make, puts two and two together. What are the other ones I've got here? I've got another comment from Rune Christiansen saying, Yay! Minimum editing! After having the joy ruined in multiple Anno 1800 plays and some Fallout 4 plays because we don't want all the travel time and repetitive stuff, so I've edited out all that pesky gameplay, it'll be a joy to see you play some travel time and grindy minigames. Here's hoping you 100% the game. And were those de-mouthed smiley faces. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just wanted to uh, look up a comment I did forget to make a note of. Uh, because shout out to Clunk279 who says, Ooh boy, are you in for a trip? If Shadows of the Damned is your previous experience with Suda51, you are not prepared. Suda is really out there, and whatever batshit you experience in this game, it only escalates in NMH2. You and all your viewers are in for a treat. And I find this very mildly concerning because... Well, to be perfectly frank, Shadows of the Damned was completely fucking insane. Like, one of the most straightforward things about it is that my gun in that game was alive and loved to make penis jokes. <laughs> uh, his name was Johnson, and he was actually surprisingly personable for a demon gun. Just a huge wad of cash. You have paid the stupid entry fee. <laughs> Return to the motel. Although props on them for using an uncommon word like stipulated. For God's sake. I had to knock that thing over to get this thing here. It must have respawned and I wasn't looking. Well, if I had actually been turning instead of doing that. How do you like it, buddy? Uh, oh! There's an M on the map now. Hey, can I actually go in there now that I look at it? This was marked on the map. This being Burger Suplex, I mean. Presum I think they said it was from the same family as, uh... Wait. Oh, the Grasshopper logo, that's right, yes. Alas. Let's see, I know Suda did this game. I know he did uh, Killer7. Which I've heard is so weird, it's actually kind of abstract, but I'm not actually sure what that means. And the most recent uh, news I'd heard from him is that Suda is working on a game with another extraordinarily eccentric Japanese developer. This one likes to be credited by the name Swery, because uh, his real first name is Suhero. And, uh... He made, what was it called? Deadly Premonition. Something I haven't played, but I did watch a Let's Play of. And, uh, that seemed both like a miserable experience to play, and an absolute joy to watch. The, uh, general consensus seemed to be that the gameplay was so bad it's good, but the writing was shockingly well done. Everybody remember where we parked! 
<laughs> say what this mission is, or does it just say M? No, just mission. It doesn't even say that! It's just M. I could have there, it's like, no, no, just, oh, no, that actually says motel. I was leaping again to conclusions. Hey! Oops. Yep. The, the cell shading in this game is so pronounced that the first time I noticed the shadows during the conversation with Death Metal, I genuinely thought for a second, is the lighting engine fucking up or something? Free fight mission start. Kill and take you till you take a single hit from the enemy. Kill them all within the time limit. What? I thought I was hunting the tenth best dude in the world. I have one hit point. I have two hit points. Amazing. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Kill that man! Oh shit! More. No! It is weird that I didn't just ask if I want to try again. See, that made it sound like it was a bonus round. I guess I, what they actually mean is kill everyone within the time limit without being hit. Okay, so I guess I just make heavy use of blocking then. I don't think I have to specify whether it's uh, high or low. Yeah. Death! Fuck. I wonder if I can interrupt those with the, uh, the block. Hey, was everything the sky for a second for you guys, or am I just on way too much absinthe? Third time's the charm. Probably not really, but still! No! Decapitation! I can't believe that worked. No way I charged that long enough. Oh shit! Ah oh, hell, the sword guys, they actually know what they're doing. I mean, that guy sucked, but you know. I really thought there was gonna be one in all four corners. Oh shit! Oh, fuck! Maybe there was one in all four corners. Oh, shit! Well, I am glad they all cluster together like that. Why can't I... Fuck. Why the hell wouldn't he do the thing? It had even had the prompt at the bottom of the screen. Does the dude standing next to the other dude take press? Someone even picked up my bike. I've been here so long. God mm. damn it. Maybe I should start. Maybe I should do an elevator cut and cut to the part where I get this one. No, no, this is a bit early on for that. Because I do, you know, take. I do make use of more editing as the series goes on. You know, like travel time, once we've seen me go places like 50 times, like, okay, we get it. Oh, we didn't need that. Nope. Okay. 
But he didn't actually hit me. I didn't lose my two hit points. Stop kicking me onto the street. This is mm. embarrassing. Oh my god, it isn't even there. Mm. So for the record, I just uh, held down left trigger, down, and B because I was expecting to do a backflip. I have been playing too much Zelda lately. Um... Oh, right, because that's where, uh... Oh, no, that's not where that goes. So you hit, uh, X to do a backflip, of course. Which is on the top on the, uh, Switch controller. Why the hell did I hit B? Well, whatever. Maybe I haven't been playing enough Zelda. <laughs> Fuck! Did I take the wrong one? No! That was... Fuck something up over here. Like, is this really just the, the 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 tutorial bit? Not the tutorial bit. The other bit. That other mission they offered me that sounded like the roguelike mode. Well, not quite a roguelike. It just seemed like a. Uh, if the mercenaries was something you did in the main game of Resident Evil to earn money. Sorry. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> you know, let's just pretend that didn't happen. I had exactly enough time to think, oh shit, that's not a, uh... That's not a yard, that's uh, an embankment. Welcome. Well, if I had any goddamn idea where Avalanche Hold Street was... May you find your Uber path? Your Uber path? Why does my shadow have pants but no body? All right, back to the M. Hang on. Oh, this black bit here. I thought there was a damaged part there. Yeah, no, that looks fine. It looks like it's supposed to look like that. I just guess I didn't notice those before. Oh, come on! I can knock over those and it doesn't send water spraying everywhere. This is the worst open world game ever. I did think it was weird when I, you know, Googled is uh, No More Heroes an open world game, like that exact phrase, and what came up was a bunch of people complaining about the open world game coming back in No More Heroes 3? I don't know. I mean, at the time, I was still in full-on, oh god, oh god, what if this runs for another 170 episodes mode, so I, I wasn't really in the frame of mind to appreciate how odd that was. Look, look, I'm on the parking, the parking lot, I'm on the uh, sidewalk and everything. It isn't actually a parking lot, but you know, that's either where they keep. That's where they keep moving my car. So, Three, two, one. okay, just non-stop blocking. I guess. Oh, just look at him! <laughs> Kill everybody! Yeah. Keep on blocking. Whoa! 
They all cluster together like that. It'll be great. Oh, shit. What were you doing standing immediately behind that guy? I blocked it! Up yours, buddy! Oh, wait, no, you got him dropping in. Don't mind me. Why is the dude to the fire axe here? He's into fire. No! Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, it's just this guy? I was expecting to see like four or five guys running towards me from behind. They all sound like crowds. That's weird. Okay. Low blocks. I mean, low strikes. It's the opposite of what I meant to do. Fucking A, man. I guess I go punch out now, huh? It's left bumper dollars. That doesn't make any sense. Wait. Trying to remember. The Wii was equivalent to the Xbox 360, which was the first uh, uh, console to refer to its uh, shoulder buttons as bumpers, I think. But it certainly wouldn't be that in the Wii game, which uh, I don't believe used any kind of bumpers at all. Oh, no, that's not true. There were some buttons on the outside of the, uh, the nunchuck. Ooh, I saw a person blink in and out in that corner for one second over there. Uh, now what? Oh, that's right, you have to be backing up for him to do the thing. What? I enjoy that there's a party store there called Pirates and Ninjas, because that is extremely 2007. Well, more early 2000s anyway, but you know. check in at the entertainment place. Actually, scratch that, since I'm right here. I will stop in at home, so to speak. And, uh... I forget to use an actual parking spot. And save the game, because that was kind of a pain in the butt. Oh. Hey, Travis. The next fight has been prepared. Destroy Stadium. Dr. Peace is waiting for you. Hop to it. Dr. Peace? Oh, yes, that's right. That was the, uh, the guy above me, but... Wait, you arranged this? The first time, I definitely just crashed that guy's house. I mean, I guess. Oh, it's just cutscenes, that's right. Oh, that's funny, I should have the one for, uh, being told I can't get the, uh, 
the next job yet. On a side note, I am fairly confident that uh, Crystal is just using me, and that she is intentionally doing things like bending down in front of uh, Travis, or putting her thighs within gropable range in order to distract him from, uh, you know, focusing on the moment and realizing that she is heavily manipulating him. I wouldn't be surprised if she was the number two uh, assassin in the world. No, no, it'll be great. I'll just fake the second, the second last fight. Then after you beat the number one guy, I'll casually beat you. I have no actual knowledge of that for the record in case I just accidentally nailed it, but you know. I feel like it'd be something more complicated than that. Oh, for God's sake, the, po the booby pillow. Hey, girl. Yes, good. Oh. What if they actually recorded purring for that? Oh, uh, I don't need to do anything in here. I don't think I spontaneously unlocked any clothing. Oh, that is an option. No, that it's not an option for the jacket. Oh! Because everyone knows your uh, shadow can rotate on the spot. And you can't take your pants off. Okay. Okay. Back out to the other room, I guess, and we've seen to the cat and the saving of the game. But the timer has gone. The entrance to ranking Battle 9 is now open. Wait. Oh no, that's right, I am rank 10. It is the fight for rank 9. You know, it's like the brain teaser that people never think about hard enough, or you ask someone, uh... If you're in a race, and you pass the person in second place, what place are you in? And they'll just... And for some reason, everybody says first place. Even though if you think about it for a moment, it's like, Oh no, when you pass the person in second, you overtake them and become the person in second. You know, there's a person in first still ahead of them. I was always very fond of those when I was a kid. The, uh, the questions, uh, you know, like, little puzzle questions, where the whole point is that they're thinking too hard about the answer to realize that the question doesn't make any sense. You know, like, uh, if a plane crashes on the border between these two countries, where will the survivors be buried? Oh, that was the other one. If a rooster sits on the roof of a house and lays an egg, in which direction does it roll? Ah, uh, well. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play No More Heroes. Is there a direction without the shadow? Yes, good. And I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play No More Heroes, when we uh, track down Dr. Peace and find out exactly what it takes to become the number nine assassin in the world. Till then, later.